As rent prices continue to rise, finding an affordable home has become harder and harder. Renters are desperate to find a new home, making this an optimal time for scammers to make a new deal. Wanted like a, a safer neighborhood. Malika White had no luck finding a new place for her and her two daughters until she landed on this Petersburg home on Craigslist. It said um, lovely home, two bedroom, $800 rent. And um, that's kind of cheap to me. So she responded to an ad inquiring about the home and along with passing a background check, she said all he told her he was looking for was. I'm looking for a decent person that's going to take care of the home, God fearing and you know, just a, um, you know, a clean person that's going to take care of the home like it's it's their own. And that's exactly what White says she was prepared to do. She paid her $50 application fee via Cash App and waited to be approved. 24 hours later, White was told she was approved. And now all she had to do was send the first month's rent and the home would be hers. He wanted me to send him an $800 deposit. And if I send that, I can get, he'll mail me the keys. So she sent the money hoping to secure a new house for her and her children. It's a mistake she and 5 million other renters have made, according to the Better Business Bureau. No keys were sent and no word from the landlord until about 3 a.m. the next morning. He texted me and he was like, I apologize because I couldn't keep my word with you. But my attorney said in order for me to release the keys to you, you need to pay the first and last and um, security deposit. It was then White knew she was being scammed. The home was never really for rent and the pictures she saw were likely from a rental property website. They steal the information from these rental sites and create a a look alike. Leslie Black from the BBB says scams like this happen often and warns against sending any money for a home without doing the research on the property and the landlord. Quick search within a minute of that rental address would have shown her a lot of the information that she needed to see. She says never wire money to strangers and if it seems like it's too good to be true, it probably is. They like to make you feel that you've got to make a quick decision. He's just trying to make it seem like I'm the one at fault here, but he, he's the one who took my money, so it just makes me angry. Now, we did reach out to that landlord and have not heard back, but as for White, she says she still hasn't gotten her money back, and police even told her that it will likely be difficult as they aren't even sure if that's his real name. For more information on how to avoid scams like this, you can visit our website at WTVR.com. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Joy Foltz, CBS 6 News. Thanks, Joy. Remember, if you're looking to rent a home online, a quick Google search of that property and the landlord's name can help prevent you from being scammed.